Engine 5.5 is out since a while and Clo finally launched their matching plugin. So if you're a Clo 3D user and want to learn about Unreal Engine, I show you today how you can update Unreal Engine to your latest version and how to install the Clo 3D as well as a substance plugin to Unreal Engine. First of all, I guess you installed already Unreal Engine, which means you have the Epic Games launcher on your desktop. Open it. Go to Library. If you don't have a second version showing up, add them with the little plus button. Select the little arrow and you find all available versions. Select the latest. Hit the Install button. You can change the location. I keep it as it is. Install. This can now take a while. Once it's installed, I set the latest version as current and hit the launch button. Unreal Engine is opening. Select film, video and live events. Choose a blank project. I don't need the starter content. Give your project a name and create. Once your project opens, go to settings and plugins. Unfortunately, you will not find Claw or Substance. We first need to install them. First Substance. Go back to the Epic Games launcher. Go to Fab. Search for Substance. Add it to your library. Maybe you need to log in to your Epic Games account first. Hit View in Launcher. In the launcher, scroll down to your Fab library. You can use the search to find Substance. Hit Install to Engine. Select your Unreal version. Install. Now the Glow plugin. I type in Google Glow Live Sync and open the page. Go to Download. Now pay attention for Glow 2025, which is the latest version, you need the Live Sync 2. Scroll down. Select and download the file. Now you need to unzip the folder. You need to place it where you saved your Unreal version. I make a right mouse click and select the folder location. From there follow the path 5.5 Engine Plugins Marketplace. You save it next to your Substance plugin. Now open Unreal Engine and go back to the plugin. Search for Substance and enable it. Before you restart, search for Flow and enable it as well. And also go to project settings. For the Glow plugin, we switch to DirectX 11 and enable order independent transparency. Now restart. If your plugin is not showing up, restart Unreal. With the new plugin, we have a massive update in file formats. But first, you open now Glow slash Marvelous Designer Live Sync in the mode tab. Instead of a new window as it was in the past, we have now a side panel. Make sure to select single object and in my case also unified QVs because I created textures for my garment. Also ensure Glow is open and you set it to the simulation mode. Hit the update button. As you see, your mesh is automatically saved. You can still save your static mesh and you even have the option now to save it as cloth. I was surprised by this big update and I still need to find out by myself what impact it has for the workflows. I guess it will make cloth easier to rig to meta humans and using cow's cloth to simulate instantly. But I will keep this for another tutorial. I just want to ensure with this one now that you can update to Unreal version 5.5 and also Clo 2025. One last thing, if you want to clean up your files, now is the right time. All your projects are saved in your former version. If you select a project with Unreal 5.5, it makes a copy of the project. Before deleting the older version, you should check if there's any bugs. But it's always a good idea to clean up, because Unreal Engine is taking a lot of space on your PC. Just go to the Epic Games launcher again, select the project you want to delete, right mouse click on it and select folder location. Once you have the folder location, you can delete the full folder and it will disappear not only from your folder, but also from your library. If you want to learn more about digital fashion, Unreal Engine and Clo3D, make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow for more.